Hello, 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 hello. It is XDWC time once again, and we have a map zero this time round. There's a challenge, but we're here for the tutorial today. Um, we are on the XDWC servers. This is going to be until the XDWC starts next week. But at the end of this video, there's going to be instructions on where you can get this uh, map and play it after. So if you want to learn XDWC I th and XDF in general, I think this is the best place to start right now. So yeah, you can press K to respawn. I've got it bound to different things, but yeah, K is the default kill button. Otherwise, bind whatever, you know. I have it bound to Dell in the console. You can get that by pressing uh, one of the buttons up in the top corner, or I think it's Control Enter, Shift Enter. One of those. Alt Enter. No idea. Um, anyway. Let's go up to the tutorial. We're going to start off with a circle jump. So this is like that. This is easy. You can almost make it by just jumping. Uh, I think you can actually. Yeah, you can. So we are going to make it by just going flick and jumping. And you'll see that a lot on the medium setting. We're going to flick and jump. And that's a little bit easier. You can skip the hard, but we're going to do it because I can. Oh dear. <laughs> Go for a full round. There we go. Uh, restart the stage if you want to give it another go. Or on to the next one. So here we're going to get a jump pad. And then we're just going to hold jump. And we're going to turn and we're going to turn. You can see my inputs in the bottom uh, left hand corner. And there we are. Next stage. Here we're going to try and aim for the green bar. That's what this is showing. Aim for the green bar. So we're going to start off by doing this. Hit this down ramp. And then you can see my number going up and up and up and up. And then we're going to turn like that. And yeah, you use A and D to turn. Boom. Next stage. Here, we're going into slick. So we don't want to jump here, but we want to go left and right. And we're just going to push that green bar and be smooth. And you gain a lot of uh, speed on slick. And you can get a lot of kind of very tight turns like that. Looks great. Get shit tons of speed out of it. And then we've got the uh, the weapons. So here we have the grenade launcher. We're going to grenade launch our way up. Not quite sure why my volume's not really working that well. Okay, that's better. Not quite sure what's going on there. Um probably going to blow me off if I get a notification now though. <laughs> Here we are. And then this is difficult. So uh, yeah, you can try and do these sections um, if you think it might help you. But these weapon sections are difficult to master. Difficult to do. I'm very bad at weapons. It's something I'm absolutely dreadful at, but we're going to try and beat it here anyway. Nope, not happening. Um, come on. So this is the Hagar. This is like the Plasma, if you've played Quake 3. God damn it. Come on. There we go. Just blast it forwards. Much easier. The shotgun. This is what I want to explain because we might have this. So you want to aim for the targets and it gives you a bit of knockback. Uh, there we are. And the main one which we're very likely to see, the rocket launcher. Just point and shoot. The key thing with these is to not be jumping. Unless you're jumping off of the floor to get like a first rocket jump. Um, everything subsequently is... Um, a no jump zone. So there we are. That is the tutorial. You can wind your way around here and you get all the weapons and you get this lovely start zone just like that. And blue bits are slick, orange bits are either good up ramps or um, if you land on them you'll gain more speed. Go for slick. You can see my bar highlights, my uh, speed bar. If it's not doing that for you, ask on the server because we'll probably be able to help you. 
Um, I'm not sure if Karan's off the top of my head and wouldn't want to try looking for them. But yeah, uh, after this is going to follow a short video on how to install the map. So if you're happy to play it, if, the, uh, if you're going to XDWC, then you can just go do it. Otherwise, uh, yeah, this will be how to install the XDWC map. Here we are in the offline map. Um, I'm coming back just to show the challenge off. I'm going to be doing this on stream uh, before the XUWC actually starts. If you are here before XUWC, this, um, this will be the challenge map. If you are here after XDWC starts, then join XDWC. If you're here way after XDWC and you're just wanting to learn Xenotic, this is a brilliant map. Do not come into the challenge mode because it is incredibly difficult, actually, this uh, challenge mode. Um, yeah, it's uh, actually quite a difficult map to complete, and that is a good thing. It's a challenge, but the tutorial is easy to complete. Get on with that. Have some fun inside of the game. I wish you all the absolute best of luck with your defragging experience. Thanks for watching, and uh, up comes the video on how to install this map offline. Cheers! The first method to pick up the map is the one that's currently working, which is to go to XDWC in your in-game multiplayer and join a server that's got XDWC 2022-0 as the map. After this, you'll be able to come to the Hardcore Parkour server, which can again be got to by simply searching Hardcore Parkour or exe.pub and selecting this server. Uh, this map will be votable, but you'll have to vote it to be able to download it and then run it offline. Uh, if you wanted to run it offline, or you could just run it through the hardcore parkour. There will potentially in the future be a download, we believe, but it's not quite set up yet. But I will link it in the description uh, if it gets set up and I remember to. Otherwise, I'm going to show you how to take a file from the DL cache and put it into your actual uh, game folders to use offline and how to set that up. If you are here after the map is available for download in a normal way, just take it from your downloads folders rather than from the LCache. So this is a uh, guide for Linux, but this will also work on Windows. I will put a link up on screen and in the description to where to find this folder. But we're going to go home, dot .notic, uh, here, data, DL cache, and then go search for XTWC in here. I have all of last year's maps. Then I'm going to copy it out of here. If you're here after we've got the uh, maps, then you'll find to just uh, continue with where you were. But then I'm going to move it from DL Cache into Maps, paste it into there. Make sure you do it in your .zonotic folder rather than your um, anything else folder. You can also put them in here into just your generic folder uh, and they'll work. So I've got all the 2020 maps. And then we're going to head back over into the game. Um, make sure you do it in your .zonotic folder, your config folder rather than the game folder. Otherwise, if you update the game, that'll all get deleted. So we're now back over into the game. And we're going to hit either shift escape or back tick, open up the console. And we're going to type map xdwc 2022-0. There it is. We're going to load on into it. It's going to take a little while to uh, load up. And we are going to need to make a couple of changes once we're in again. So now we're in, we'll join the game. Um, I believe it has actually set it to race CTS, but if it doesn't do this, then you'll just need to exec rule set dash xdf dot uh, xdf dot cfg. There you go. So you just need to exec that and it'll set everything up for you and possibly restart the game. Um, but now you can go through with the uh, with the whole setup. And we are into the tutorial again. So yeah, that is how you get into the tutorial for the XWC maps uh, offline. Uh, if you're able to play it uh, just forever. I think this is a fantastic thing. Thank you to Ash for making this. I forgot to say that at the start of the video, but thank you to Ash. Get hyped for XDWC because it's coming now. 
Um, yeah, XDWC, let's go. Join the servers, join my stream. I'm going to be streaming all of XDWC. Thank you for watching this and uh, enjoy Zenot.